Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is our automation mini series that probably won't be that mini. <laughs> so what have we looked at previously? So we look, we talked a bit about what automation is and the kind of things we might want to automate um, and using MIDI QOL we have automated our dice rolls so we have basically sped up our combat by um, fast forwarding those dice rolls making sure they're nice and quick checking to see if things hit automatically rolling damage and stuff from the dm side we haven't played with player settings uh, we've also looked at the same kind of automation for our saving throws automatically making saving throws when we need them uh, which is brilliant. Um, we can either do that so it prompts us to make the saving throw or it does it automatically for us. And in the last video, we were looking at spell concentration. So when we cast spells such as True Strike, let me begin this combat. Uh, and Sorryman can cast True Strike. So it's going to ask about concentration, just confirming it automatically puts concentration on there. Now, the problem that we had, not the problem, but the thing we uh, discovered in the last video is the fact that that concentration doesn't ever end. It goes on forever. Uh, so this video is an introduction to the one extra module that we absolutely are going to need. So let me go to my manage modules. I've already got it installed. It's called Time's Up. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail. I, we do have a video in our add-ons uh, for quite some time ago about Time's Up in a little more detail. But I completely understand that people are coming at this going, I just want to learn how to automate without watching every single video. So there's more detail on that in that previous one. But we have got Time's Up installed. And essentially, that's what it does. It tracks the longevity of spells and effects and... Um, abilities if they should time out it tracks that time and then it ends them when it should so we've just cast this spell and if we look on our temporary effects we've got concentrating on true strike for one round and that true strike is active for one round all right so let's uh, move on to the goblins go and then go back to Sorryman's go there we go it's automatically, because that's counted down, it's automatically said, oh, hang on a minute, that should end. And it gets rid of it. Breaks the concentration, which drops the spell, which is perfectly what we wanted. And it's the little extra on that other one. Now, that's going to work for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I have added some other concentration spells on here um, as well. So, um, Simon can choose to bless himself. Let's cast that. There we go. He's now concentrating and he's blessed. And we can see that he's concentrating for 60 seconds. Blessed lasts 10 rounds. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Six seconds in a round. 10 rounds is 60 seconds. So that should do exactly the same. So Sorryman should get his benefits from that spell. And if we go through one round, we can see both of these. Well, this time has dropped to nine rounds. We've now dropped to eight rounds, 54 seconds. And you can see that they are dropping down each round of combat. Those numbers drop down until it actually ends. Now ignore that little error about active effect not existing. Don't worry about that. It's nothing to do with what we're looking at right now. Um, so that's it. Time's up. That's our next piece of the puzzle in our automation. So MIDI QOL is powering pretty much everything but there's a few bits we're gluing onto it that add to our automation so this is a nice quick video um, we've looked at media ql settings for certain things we've looked at concentration and saving throws this is the bit we need to make sure that ends now just you I know mean, we're looking at spells but it works with everything uh, let's just touch on the fact that uh, we have rage and Sorryman can rage and that's exactly the same just in case you're wondering last 10 rounds let's skip through a few rounds you can see we're now down to five rounds four three two one and it's gone okay so that works for any of those kind of active abilities spell concentrations etc time's up it is uh, it's it's not a core requirement for MIDI QOL. You can install MIDI QOL without it. 
the question is why would you <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why you would. Um, it, it, it's not. Uh, it's not a core component, but it pretty much should be. Um, but you can run MIDIQ out without it if there is a reason for that. Because uh, tracking concentration is one of the most pain in the butt things about being a DM, especially if you've got. In my cursor Strad group, we've got seven players, and five of them are spellcasters. There's potentially five different spells I've got to try and track who's concentrating on what. That's going to be a pain in the bum, isn't it? But doing it on paper, you know, or I could do it this way. There you go. So anyway, quick video this one. Take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.